Hey folks, welcome back to War Thunder. First things first, I want to apologise in advance if I sound a bit croaky than usual. I've actually been off work for like three or four days now. Not had the best Christmas ever because I've got some kind of infection. Not entirely sure what it is, but I've been coughing up some really nasty shit. Anyway, yeah, so there'll probably be quite a bit of audio editing in this, uh, in this video to just cut out all of the coughing and stuff. So as you can probably tell from the little intro clip, we're fighting America and Russia in the Mirage 2000 to see if it can hang with the MiG-29 and the F-16. Because the last time I did a Mirage 2000 video was before the patch dropped, and we hadn't had a chance to see how the new tier 8 editions performed yet. So n now that they are here, we can uh, we can have a look at them. I've been flying the Mirage 2000 quite a bit, and I actually still haven't spaded it yet, which kind of says a lot about the sorry state of grinding in sim at the moment. But with the winter event running, because I would quite like the uh, German Tornado, because I don't actually have anything viable at top tier for Germany yet, and I know that that's not viable either, but I might give it a go in tank sim when I get it. If I get it, I've, I've missed two of the coupons already, so hopefully I'll not miss the rest, but uh, I've been getting the tasks done in two EC matches with the Mirage. Earlier today I went like 13 for 1 with it. So yeah, you get quite a lot of progress quite easily. At least if you've got your head on the swivel. You know you so having fought the MiG-29 and the F-16 now, my first impressions are that people in the MiG tend to stick the fight a lot more frequently than those in the F-16, but I'm not sure if it's because of the plane in, in the sense that it can do it or can't do it. And I think it's more in terms of the limit, limitations of the uh, F-16's fly-by-wire system. When I say limitations, from what I've seen of people flying it in um, RB, it's it's like hard limiter to 9G. Which, in a game where stuff will commonly pull about 14Gs, is quite a huge nerf. Especially in a jet that's known for being a potent dogfight. The MiG-29 doesn't seem to suffer the same limitation because it doesn't have a fly-by-wire system. So what ends up happening often is that I've had quite a lot of decent fights with MiG-29s and gun killed a few of them. But I've never been able to go and kill an F-16 because it just doesn't bleed enough speed. It just stays really fast and either runs away from me and loses first and I just chase it down and kill it with a magic, which is obviously kind of boring to watch. Or they'll ray around me and the same thing happens, I'll just have to fly in a way that makes them lose visual, like get down on the deck, plug the ground, until they clearly don't know where I am anymore and then just fire a fox to them when they're not paying attention. So these uh, these clips in the background basically just so I could ramble on about stuff. Um, in the well, whilst we'll get into the meat of the footage, take note of the Mirage's gun sight throughout the footage today because with the patch they did actually increase the reliability of gyro gun sights when you have a radar lock. And I'm quite enjoying them now actually. I flew the F5 very briefly the other day, and it felt quite a lot like using the radar gun sight in DCS. So I might, might have to give that a go. I do still need to grind out the F-16. The problem with the MiG-29 is that if there's one of them, it's, fair, it's fairly easy to, to handle just one guy, just 1v1. It bleeds quite a lot of speed, and it doesn't have the same control authority as the Mirage does at low speed, so if you both end up getting pretty slow, the Mirage has quite a significant advantage. Although the MiG can gain its, uh, its speed back quite quickly. But the idea is that you kill him before he gets a chance to do that. Problem though is that there's rarely just one of them. So in this clip in the background right here, we came in and we killed the MiG-29 off the bat. Then I fired another magic off at a second one, which it unfortunately didn't connect with. This might even be that guy here. Spider sensors were tingling, so I checked my six, and we've got another MiG-29 coming up behind us. The Mirage can just about handle two guys at once if they aren't on comms and they're not really doing much to help each other out. So like here, that MiG-23 from earlier, and this MiG-29. They're both turning in the same direction, 
So if I make a maneuver to deal with one of them, it, it, it deals with the other one by proxy as well. If they were communicating and one of them turned the other way, then I th there's really nothing you can do. Like, look how slow I am right now, like not even sub 300 knots. If someone came along with an AIM-9B, they could kill me fairly easily from, from a way off. So that MIG got team killed. Team killing has really, really spiked with the patch, by the way. I don't know if new people are coming to sim and they don't understand how the IFF system works, but I'm getting, I'm seeing team kills happening all the time. So that was one of those situations where you just get overwhelmed and there's nothing you can do. And if you get too slow, like obviously in a 1v1 you can afford to get slow, but you really can't if there's more than one around. And that's the weakness of the Mirage, really. 1v1, yeah, no problem, but when there's loads of them. It's not a good time. So a lot of engagements I've had with the F-16 kind of come down to a BVR joust. Whoever sticks it wins, and generally I win because the 530 is just faster. So again we fire off a magic at that guy and then a friendly for just mops him up straight away. Got a MiG-29 behind us so we're going to loop over and dive down on him and see if we can mop him up. In the last Mirage video I did I said that the Mirage 2000 is the only jet in War Thunder within the top tier matter that I will continue to fight after I run out of missiles. And even despite the changes to the top tip lineups with the additions of tier 8, that still holds true. Like you can see here, I'm Winchester, I've got no missiles. Still got a heck of a lot of fuel. And 270 rounds of guns is enough to get like 5 or 6 kills if you're patient. It's just a case of playing it sneaky and hoping that they don't to catch you off guard. Tom Carper had fired a Sparrow, I think. Maybe a Phoenix. Thankfully, he managed to evade them both. He was coming in with tons of speed, so he basically raided around us unintentionally. So we just cut the circle. Cheeky snapshot, which unfortunately doesn't connect. And I'm just praying at this point that I'm not going to get reset by the map border because it's extremely irritating when that happens. So this F-14 is kind of playing it right by going high and trying to rate around me, but he just misjudged it a little bit. Didn't quite have the right energy state. And I did get extremely lucky with that burst setting his wing on fire. Recently in Sim, they've added um, on-screen awards like they have in RP. So when you get a kill, it pops up with aircraft destroyed in the center of the screen. And it actually pops up every 15 minutes and tells you what your gains are for the interval thing that they added recently. Not really sure what to think about it at this point, because on the one hand, seeing your awards kind of makes you realise that you're not making that much progress. But, by the same token, it's quite nice to know how much progress you actually are making. Because if it's not significant enough for you to bother, then you can just leave without wasting any, any more of your time might make it a little bit easier to identify the, the high earners. Another MiG-29 here. Another guns fight. I am upset that I didn't manage to get any footage of uh, F-16 guns fights. I'll keep trying and maybe update and do another video. But I think you're probably all getting a bit sick of the Mirage 2000 at this point. Absolutely love the hit effects and more thunder since they added them. So satisfying. But that's the last clip of the video, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you want to see more, then let me know in the comments, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.